Hi y'all, I'm Dominique Green and welcome to Puppy Panda Crochet Podcast Episode 3. I am recording this on the 4th of July, so I apologize for any of the explosions going on. I do live in the United States and people like to celebrate loudly. I also apologize for any panting. Core is really not loving all this loud booms. Today I have a lot of objects to show you and a pattern that I need some opinions on. So my first project that I'm going to show you is one of the staples that I sell in my craft shows. It's the Pocket Panda and I use them in blanket yarn. So I made one with dark blue and an off-white. You can find this panda pattern on spinayarn.com and it's just the pocket panda pattern and I used Burnett Blanket on that one and a 6.5 millimeter hook. And I have a second one. This one I used Burnett Blanket in the black and Ice Yarns Chenille in the white. I just did a single strand on the chenille. I usually do a double strand, but I wanted to see how the single strand would work up. So my next item was a whip from my very first episode. It's my Yodas. He does have the tag on him because I do sell them at my craft shows and I do have one coming up. So all I had to do was add his jacket. So I just sewed on his jacket and all of that. Adorable. So I got three of those. Got another one and another one. I use these ears for both my chibi Yoda and then this standing Yoda. I just love the ears so much. Next, I have a lovey. It's in a red sparkle yarn with sheep as the last row. And I have it on a Christmas tie unicorn. I also made up a yellow dog bandana so I could make sure that my pattern would be correctly written for it. So once I type up that pattern, it should be out and available soon. And for these bandanas, it just slips in through the hole around the collars. You can make it in any size and it's really quick and easy to make up. I also made a couple more poop bag holders. I have this one, and this is in Cypress Landing from Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. Just a wooden button that I found on Amazon. I got another Cypress Landing one with a little dog button. I got this at Walmart for about $3, I believe it is. And then I also have this purple with like a poodle on it. I needed to make up these so I knew how much yarn to put in my DIY kits. So uh, my next craft show I'm gonna have a couple DIY kits that hopefully will sell and if they do not then you learn. <laughs> So this is my DIY kit. It's just a little white box and I have DIY crochet kit, what pattern it is. So these are my dog poop bags and then what color of yarn that's in it. So this one has a dark pink or magenta yarn and the inside looks like that. 
So this magenta yarn is from Big Twist, I believe it is. It's from Joann's. So one of those, it's a little bit darker in person. Then it also comes with two poop bag rolls, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I believe these are just the Susan Bates. Nope, these are the boy hooks. Comes with an organza bag with two buttons, one of the tapestry needles. Let me grab it out for you. Okay, a tapestry needle. And one of these hook things. So to use these, you just put it through the eye of the tapestry needle and you can hook onto the yarn on this side and just pull it through. It helps to easily thread your needles. And then it obviously comes with the crochet pattern all printed up. And it's just my dog waist bag holders with the picture, the entire pattern, all three pages. It's a very quick and easy pattern to make up. And it is available on my Etsy shop. I will have it linked below. And yep, there we go. So I made two of those kits. I also have another one in a pale gray. All the same stuff, the hook, needle, buttons, all of it. So I got two of those. And unfortunately I am out of crochet hooks. So either I sell them without the crochet hook or I can sell them with the crochet hook or only sell two of them but I mean hopefully they'll sell at my next craft show I have one July 23rd and I will be doing a vlog my first vlog and I'll have my setup at the craft show maybe during the craft show and then my final overall results and how much I made, what sold, all of that. Usually bees and chunky sell. So next on the list, I'm going to ask for your guys' opinions. So I made a skinny version and a thick version. So this is a skinny version. It is a plastic bag grocery sack um, holder. So the skinny version is very long and holds about eight bags and Nova appeared. <laughs> and then the thick version, still pretty big. Yeah, I know. It's interesting. I know. <laughs> so the thick version holds a lot more bags, very loose and has the bottom. So do you guys like the skinny version or the thicker version better? Or both? I could probably combine it on the same exact pattern and release it together, but I want to know y'all's opinion on it and if you guys like one better than the other. Um, let's see what else I got to show you. I have a couple acquisitions I got at Walmart. I have some Hometown USA and I got them on sale for $3.97. This color is called, it's in Spanish. Well, I thought I knew where it was. But it says, no de calor, or something like that. 
So I don't think it has a color name, but it says 236E. It's a little bit darker in person. It's like a blue. I have 238J. It's like, um, I want to say a beige. I have a dark blue, another light blue, found this pretty purple with different colors in it, so it's got purple, different purple shades, dark purple, medium purple, and kind of like a periwinkle in it. I found another beige and another purple variegated. And I also got two cottons. I got this bright orange. You can see a better version of this orange on my most recent pattern. It's my spunky the not so spooky ghost. It's my thicker one. And then I also got this light pink, and it's just peaches and cream. Let's see what the color name is. It's called Pastel Pink. And then this one's called Bright Orange. Um, let's see, anything else? Nope, doesn't look like I have anything else. I will have a new pattern book coming to me shortly. It comes in on Thursday. It's a pattern that I've been wanting for a couple of years now, and I finally got the book for it. So you will be able to see that in my next episode, hopefully. <laughs> and unfortunately, I haven't been able to film my stitch marker video yet or my newest pattern release because I'm obviously still working on it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are wanting to find me anywhere else, I do have a Facebook shop page. I have an Etsy, a TikTok, an Instagram, and usually you can find me in a couple crochet groups. I am in Pixie Marie Creates um, group. I'm in Happy to Hook Creations group. And I'm also in the Secret Yarnery group. And you can find all my patterns, well, most of them, or all my makes in there. I do comment on other people, try to help them. And then I'm trying to start up a group for designers. Um, unfortunately, no one has joined yet. Um, I do have my NSFW items in there because no one seems to appreciate that I do sell some of those items and I do want to show y'all everything that I make because even though it might be a little bit inappropriate I do find humor in it and I want to show you guys what I can create so I will have all those links down below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. And um, I hope you join me for my next episode. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.